Hello everybody, how is it going on? In this video, I would like to share to you how to denoise or restore a noise image using mean and median filter. I already prepared the pattern script, and as always, you can visit my GitHub repository to download this pattern script and try this on your PC. The link is available in the description. Here, I will create two types of noise image. The first one is Gaussian noise image, and the second one is a salt and pepper noise image. I have a separate video that explains about how to create a Gaussian noise image as well as salt and pepper noise image. You can watch those videos for a further explanation. The mean and median filter I use here is the built-in function from OpenCV. CV2.blur is the mean filter and CV2.medianblur is the median filter. Alright, let us now run this Python script. First, we import the libraries. Next, we import the original image and we normalize the pixel value. The first noise image is the Gaussian noise image. We create the Gaussian noise image by running this line of code. Let us preview the original image and the image with the Gaussian noise. So this is our original image and this one is our image with the Gaussian noise. Now we apply a mean filter using cv2.blur function. This function takes two input argument. The first one is our noise image and the second argument is the filter size. In this example, I use 5x5 five five filter size. Next, we apply a median filter using cv2.median blur function. As you can see here, there are two additional steps we need to do before we can apply a median filter. The first additional step is we limit or clip the pixel value into range of negative 1 and 1 using numpy.clip function. Because we add an image with noise, some pixel value might become larger than 1 and some pixel value might become less than negative 1. The second additional step, we convert the data type from float64 to unsigned integer 8 because the cv2.median blur function requires the input image in unsigned integer 8. Finally, we apply the median filter. Okay, now let us see the result using OpenCV IMShow function. This is our original image. This is the image with the Gaussian noise. And this is the result of denoising this noise image using mean filter. And this is the result denoise an image using median filter function. As we can see here, I think the main filter gives a better result comparing to the median filter. Okay, let us now repeat all of this process and for the noise image, we will use the salt and pepper noise. Let us first comment the Gaussian noise line of code. Next, we uncomment the salt and pepper noise. Okay, let us clean these variables and we rerun this Python script. We import the libraries, we open our original image and normalize the original image. Next, we create the salt and pepper noise image. Let us preview our original image as well as the image with the salt and pepper noise. So this is our original image, same as before. And this is our image with the salt and pepper noise. Let us now denoise our image using the mean filter and the median filter. This is the same process as the previous one. Okay, let us now preview the result. Alright, this is our original image. This is our image with the salt and pepper noise. This is our denoise image using the mean filter. And this one is the denoise image using the median filter. As you can see here, the median filter works better for the image with a uh, salt and pepper noise. Here is an optional if you want to save your image or the result using this opencv.imwrite function. You should convert the data type from float64 to unsigned integer 8 using the image underscore s underscore u byte function. Okay, that's all from this video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next tutorial video.